we were deep in the jungles of Central America. My son was getting bitten by ants. He was scratched. He was tired. And he was saying, hey, Dad, why do I have to climb these trees? But it's to study monkeys because my research involves the hips of monkeys. It's a powerful part of our body that a lot of people don't fully understand or respect. Now, from an anatomical perspective, it looks kind of tedious and who cares about all this stuff? But really, it's an anchor point for muscles, the gluteus muscles, the adductor muscles in the back. Also for powerful back muscles such as the latissimus dorsi or lats, erector spinae coming up to give us that posture. Also the back of the legs, we call these hamstrings, bicep femoris, semitendinosus. All these muscles, their focal point is right here at the hip. So that way when we look at the bones of the hip, it's not just, okay, Here's a little process, so what? Here's a rough tuberosity, who cares? Uh, here's some knobby trochanter, eh, no big deal. But these are big deals because these rough edges and fossa are places where gluteus maximus is going to attach to the trochanter and give us that powerful lateral rotation. But it doesn't work alone because think of your ancestors long ago. What if the wild dog or the hyena bit them in the gluteus? Well, there's a gluteus medius that's going to be a synergist. It's going to help out. It's also tying in at this greater trochanter. So you see these knobs, they have a purpose. This rough ischial tuberosity is where the powerful hamstring muscle of the bicep femoris attaches. And alongside that muscle, it's synergis, the semitendinosis, working on the back of the leg. There's also the adductor longus, a powerful uh, adductor muscle coming off the body of the pubis. Okay, so now we look at the hip bone and we say, oh, wow, I see. And this ridge, this rough ridge, perfect place for those muscles that keep our, our back straight and strong. Or how about those twisting muscles, the lats, latissimus dorsi? Okay, you getting the picture now? The hip is marvelous. It's where we get lots of our power. Now, I decided to do a little activity that measures the different body parts that tie into the hip. My first one is I put a stick and then a centimeter ruler. And I made three attempts, and I bend from the hip. So you watch this, okay? One, two, and three. No cheating, back straight. I go as far as I can, and I mark that. And that tests how flexible my semitendinosus is. Minus seven means I didn't even make it to where my heels were. I was disappointed in that number. Next, the twisting muscle, latissimus dorsi. I line up the metric ruler with my knee. See that? And then, no cheating, I have to keep my chin and my shoulders in line. One, two, three times. And you're going to see me, on the third time, drop my hand. No cheating. You really have to focus. <laughs> it's tempting to cheat, you know, because we want good scores, but no cheating. Top of the kneecap. I did it on both sides. We can skip that. And then I move on to the rectus spinae. These are the muscles of the back. And this may not look like much of a stretch, but these muscles are so tight. You guys will do better than I did because I'm an old athlete with lots of injuries. Rectus spinae. One, two, Three, come on, you can do better than that. Come on. Oh, I'm really unhappy with my scores, but I'm being honest. My back was straight, chin in line, 37 right there. I did both sides and I got average, so we can skip that. And now, two, gluteus medius. That's a rotator muscle. One, two, three. And then the distance between my fingers and the kneecap. Let's take another look at that, okay? 
no cheating. Everything's in line. Two. Now, some of you guys are so flexible, you're going to go past the knee. You might have to do this one standing up. And the distance there, that's a gluteus medius. Onto gluteus maximus, that huge muscle in the back uh, of the pelvis. So this is a typical yoga position. Look at my feet. Oh, I need to clean those feet. Uh, toes po pointing straight or, or up and knee flat on the deck. One, two, three. Top and kneecap to the chest. Another disappointment. Gluteus maximus. 55 centimeters. Oh my gosh. Okay. Finally, we have one more stretch. And that's going to be the bicep femoris on the back of the leg. So here, position is important. You lay back. Grasp the, the tibia, the, the shin bone. One, two, three attempts. And then I should have been ready with that, but I didn't. I probably could have got better numbers. Middle of the chest to the top of the kneecap. And at that point... Oh, I did both sides, but you don't, so just to get an average. And at the end, that's it. So I did that when I was cold. And then I warmed up my body like a monkey, moved around the house. I crawled, shadow boxed. And then I used a calculator just to um, determine the difference. So you can see, for me, it worked pretty well. My muscles kind of loosened up. My attitude improved, too. Because I got away from my computer. Alright, so this is what your uh, report can look like when you're done with a beautiful drawing of the pelvis with some muscles in there. And then your own personal flexibility. Low narrative and you are done.